everybody and welcome to Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of my blog series. I'm Jaro Harak and today we're going to be talking about a theme of Austin and Alley Editions video and the theme is called dance. So let's get started. So previously, the other day, I did a TMI tag, which stands for Too Much Information tag, and it's already on YouTube, so make sure to check it out. Um, also, I'm really excited because soon there's going to be a new Austin and Alley episode coming out called Homeworks and Hidden Talents, so make sure to check that out and tune in to Disney Channel Sundays um, to make sure to see the season four of Austin and Alley, and usually they put them at 8 p.m., so make sure to tune in to check out Season 4 of Austin and Alley on Disney Channel. And so today we're going to be doing another Austin and Alley Editions video, which I love making so much. And like I said, um, I did some updates on my TMI tag, so I'm going to do them here too. I'm sorry that my intros are kind of long, but I want to make sure that everybody knows all the announcements and all the important things that are coming up on my channel. So I'm doing Season 2 of Jairus Kitchen. Make sure to check out my recent and previous videos videos and make sure to keep tuning in to see new Jairus Kitchen season 2 episodes. I'm also planning on doing a new Jairus Kitchen um, theme song and a new blog series theme song. I'm going to be doing them together so make sure to check that out and I'm going to be doing the Touch of Dance 4 really soon and so yeah so we're going to get on with this video but make sure to check out my TMI tag which stands for too much information my video that I just uploaded on YouTube check it out on my channel and so we're gonna be doing the theme because like I said every theme that I do of Austin and Alley Editions video every video has a theme so we've talked about jealousy we've talked about prom and we've also talked about Austin and Alley's personality but now we're gonna be talking about dancing and you might say what does dancing have to do with Austin and Alley and I'm gonna tell you why well Austin, as we all know, he's an amazing dancer. I mean, he loves to dance when he performs, and he also is a ballroom dancer, which we just found out in season four on Grand Openings and Great Expectations. Make sure to check that episode out on Disney On Demand um, and on YouTube, which has already aired a couple of weeks ago. And, um, and yeah, so we found out that Austin was not just a hip hop dancer, but also a ballroom dancer. And you can tell that his passion for music and dancing is amazing. And Allie, we all know that in the past we've seen a little bit of her dancing. Not exactly what everybody would expect. Um, and people would say it's awkward. I think it's actually pretty fun. Um, doing things the alley way. So let's check out how Allie's way of dancing shows out on one of her music videos that she did in season two called The Alley Way. So let's check it out. <laughs> hey, that's not funny. You want me to say something? No, they're just jealous. Why is that? Because I'm doing it my way. The alleyway. Doing things the alleyway. Step one. Climb the rope. Climb the rope. Climb the rope. Climb the rope. Doing things the alleyway. Step two. Wash the windows. Wash the windows. Wash the windows. Wash the windows. Doing things the alleyway. Doing things the alleyway. So, 
that's doing things the alleyway. So make sure to check out that episode. Just go on Google, put the alleyway. Make sure to check out that video that they did for that episode. And you can check it out and check out the name of the episode as well. So like I said, Austin and Ally both in their own way have, how do you say, a passion for dancing. And they both love dancing, especially when Austin and Ally were dancing together on great, um, grand openings and great expectations when they were doing the ballroom dancing. Also, in season one, we've seen her dance with him on um, the Trisha's Quinceañera on her 15th birthday because she didn't have a partner to dance with. And Austin decided that she was more important to him than performing, so he decided to dance with her. So we've seen a lot of Aussie dances, and we're going to see a lot of Aussie dances in the future, and I am so excited and can't wait for it. So, with all of that said, let's check out a clip of Aussie and Ally's dances. I mean, I know I've been showing this on my Aussie edited videos, which make sure to check those out. I've made already four videos of those edited personally by me so make sure to check out my Austin and Ally and Austin edited videos on my channel and for more of them that I'm going to be making so like I said let's check out a few clips of some of their dances that I've already put also when they danced in prom and uh, that's what makes them so amazing for each other they're different but then they're amazing together so let's check out those clips Show me? Sure. Okay, ready? Okay. Right about there. Oh, sorry, I just stepped on your foot. <laughs> Actually, that was your foot. <laughs> just follow me. You can do this. Hey, I'm getting the hang of this. You know what? Stop. I really wanted to sing for you guys. But there's only time for one song. And I'd rather spend that time dancing with one of my best friends. Austin, what are you doing? You're missing your chance with Emilio. Hey, it's more important that the coolest girl here finally gets her dance. Oh. Hit it! Did you and Piper break up? Because I still have feelings for you. I've always liked you. I guess I've never stopped. I feel the same way. I always dreamed of going to prom with the perfect guy. And the perfect guy is you. So, I didn't bring a horse or fireworks <laughs> or anything. <laughs> And it's a little late, but would you be my prom date? Yes. This is so romantic. I know. Ew. Yeah. is exactly how I picture it tonight. Hey, what are you guys looking at? It's the article by Beverly Robbins, senior editor, Miami Daily Star Gazette. Oh, what's she say? Fantastic, amazing, bright future ahead. Wow, she really loves the music factory. No, that was about her son, Max. But she didn't mention us at the very end. The a and &A Music Factory was more than adequate in recognizing Max's natural talent. Yeah, I told you guys you were more than adequate. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of natural talent, Austin, I hear you're quite the ballroom dancer. <laughs> you tell me. May I have this dance?
so those clips were so amazing right so now we're gonna be doing 10 things that you should know of, about the Austin and Alley cast or in case you don't know any of these facts then things that you shouldn't know of the Austin and Alley cast in other words 10 facts of things that you should know or that you don't know of the Austin and Alley cast and I have them written down right here in a piece of paper but to be honest I don't need a piece of paper to read this because I already know mostly everything mostly everything not everything but mostly everything so I'm gonna be reading them and there could be things here that you know there could be things that you don't know and if you already know these facts or getting to know them it's still fun so let's do this so did you know and I've said this in a previous video before, that on December 2nd of 2011, Austin and Allie first aired. The first episode of Austin and Allie first aired on December 2nd of 2011. And not only that, but they first started filming the pilot and the first episode of Austin and Allie on February 28th of 2011, which was only a few days ago. And it was um, their four year anniversary because since it's already their fourth season, that means four years ago on February 28th, they were filming the first episode of Austin and Alley. So happy anniversary to the Austin and Alley cast. You guys are amazing. Did you know that Ross and Laura are both 19 and Ross was born on December 29th of 1995 and Laura was born on November 29th of 1995. So that means that they were both born just one month apart, both on the same day, which is the 29th, both on the same day of two different months, but just one month apart. So he was born on December 29th, she was born on November 29th, just one month before him on the same year, 1995. Isn't that amazing? That's why Rora, Ross and Laura, Rora should happen, everybody. They got a whole bunch of stuff in common. Caleb is 24. Did you guys know that? That Caleb is 24 years old. And not only that, but he's going to be executive producing, an executive producer of a new Disney XD show that is coming out. I don't know exactly the name of it. It's on his Twitter, so make sure to check it out. And it's a new, ep a new show that's coming soon. And he's going to be executive producer of that show. And also, he has a Copper Talk flop show that they haven't been making much. But he has this show on Disney Channel also, just like an, uh, a short show that it's called the Copper Talk flop show, which you guys can check that out on YouTube. And he does all crazy things. So make sure to check it out. It's really good. Also, did you know Ross's phone case color? I mean, he's had yellow he's had pink he has he has had blue i mean his phone covers all look the same but with different colors so what color do you think ross's phone case is right now guess because i really don't know and i really would want to know right but yes what color do you think ross's phone case is i mean it's been pink it's been yellow it's been blue which one is it did you know that Rainy is 21 and she was born in 1993, two years before Ross and Laura? Yes, she's 21, everybody. She's amazing. All of them are. Did you know that Laura wasn't going to be casted for the role of Austin and Allie? Because she said in an interview recently, a couple of days ago, that, um, that she did the audition but that the casting director, I think it was, thought that she was a bit too outgoing and that, you know, Allie had to be a bit more timid and shy. But, you know, I think that it was great that they chose her. I mean, what would be Austin and Allie without Laura Morano? I don't know. I mean, without the rest of the cast, you know, without the entire cast, what would Austin and Allie be like? I mean, we would have different people, different concepts. It wouldn't be the same, and who knows? But we're happy that the cast, they chose the right cast. That's that's what's mostly important. That, you know, it doesn't matter who auditioned 
or you know what would have happened if they weren't there because they're the cast and you know I'm just glad that whoever casted them did the right thing because Ross, Laura and Rainey and Caleb the show wouldn't have been the same without them and I'm glad that they chose Laura to play Ali Dawson because nobody else could do it like her. Did you know that when Ross was 13 years old, before he got cast in Austin and Alley, because he got cast in Austin and Alley when he was 15 years old. So in season one, when they, um, you know, filmed the season and when they aired the season, he was only 15 years old and now he's 19. So that means that two years before he even got the role as Austin Moon, he was with Mo Moises Arias, on Disney XD on a basketball challenge and he also auditioned for Disney but to become a reporter but I guess they didn't get him but that's a good thing you know why because like I said what would it have been like Austin Moon without Ross I mean thank God he waited a little longer just to get that big role that he was waiting for and it's amazing we love him as Austin and we love Laura as Allie and we love Des and Trish as, well, Rainey and Calum as Des and Trish. So, we love them all. Did you know that Calum was an extra on Good Luck Charlie and Rainey Rodriguez was an extra on The Sweet Life on, on Sack and Cody? Did you know that? I did. I remember watching them. But I didn't know they would get their own show. But I'm glad they did. But yes, did you know that Caleb was an extra on Good Luck Charlie and Rainy was an extra on The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody? Isn't that amazing? You guys should go back and watch those episodes to see how it was like. I mean, I remember watching them, but you guys should see how amazing extras they were. And now they have their own show. So that's amazing, right? Did you know? that Becky G is going to be guest starring this season on Austin and Alley, And not only that, but her and um, the Lynch family, which is Ross and his family, are childhood friends. Ross and Becky G are childhood friends. And by the way, it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Becky G. So, and she's going to be guest starring this season on Austin and Alley. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And number 10, final fact. They're, they're all really close friends. I mean, obviously, we want we want Ross and Laura to date in the future. I hope it happens. I'm a Aurora shipper. I'm a Aurora fan. I hope it happens. But yes, they're all really close friends in real life. They hang out a lot all the time. Even the cast of Austin and Ally, Ross, Rainey, and Caleb, went to the Bad Hair Day premiere of Laura's new movie, which you guys should check out. Um, that just aired a couple of weeks ago. You guys should go check it out now on Disney On Demand. And yeah, they went to the Bad Hair Day premiere and all had bad hair. And I thought it was amazing because I never thought they would go with homemade shirts and bad hair. I was like, that is so amazing. So they were so supportive of her. They went and supported her. They were, they're amazing. The cast of Austin and Ally is amazing. So thank you guys for watching another episode of my vlog series. I'm Jara Horak. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and understand how amazing it is, this cast of Austin and Ally, and also how amazing the passion of music and dancing for Austin and Ally is. And let's see if you guys can rock out the alleyway, right? I mean, wash the windows, dry your hands. Come on, why not do it, right? This should be a dance move that everybody should do right? I mean, come on, everybody. It's the alleyway. So make sure that you guys can try to practice this at home. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching another episode of my vlog series. I'm Jara Hack, and I totally enjoyed to do this video. God bless you guys so much. And make sure that if you guys missed any of my announcements or updates, make sure to rewind this video and also go to watch my TMI tag that I just uploaded and it has some of the same updates and announcements and a bit more on there in the beginning of the video so make sure to check it out so thank you guys for watching bye